Yo, what's up guys, Tensk here, back with another video. So this is going to be part 2 of the Valorant optimization pack. Um, it includes the same settings, it's just that I updated uh, most of the stuff inside. So let's begin. So as always, I'm gonna go practice match. Okay, it's loading. It's actually the first time that I'm watching the game after install, so it might take a little bit longer than usual. Alright, so as always, go uh, your video settings. Full screen, or if you're using stretch, you can keep it stretch. Limiters. Um, if you use limiters, you can still read limiters. I personally don't care about limiters. Graphic quality, much tethering is on. Material quality is low. Texture quality is low. Detail quality is low. UI quality is low. Vigente, off. Vsync, off. Anti-aliasing, none. anti strophery filtering, I personally recommend two or one. I'll go with two for my case. Everything here disabled as you don't really care about. And stats, I just want my FPS. So text only, don't use graph or showbot as that will give extra stress to your CPU since it's rendering the lines and stuff. So just whatever you're using here, just make sure it's only text. Then for general, you can copy my settings. Um, Everything here is like pretty much most of the stuff are default. Um, show mature content on. You can disable that as well, it doesn't matter. And then everything else is like pretty much off. And if someone is interested in the crosshair, then uh, I don't really know how to. Okay, primary. I had this crosshair for like super long time from like the past, so don't remember the settings for it exactly but if anyone's interested in it then that's the settings and we're getting pretty much the cap fps for valorant which is 1250 if you have reflex on you can't really go on any further than that that's like the max cap for reflex so in this case if you have like um super high-end system like me um you don't really need reflex i mean yes it will lower your latency but if you're getting this high fps already it won't really do any difference so yeah and also for people that are like mid to low end reflect low latency will definitely decrease your latency so your game will feel more snappier but you're losing pretty much performance since reflex works with your cpu so for it to work properly it uses your cpu and the higher you go from on in this case on and boost that's the maximum the higher your CPU usage becomes. So if your CPU is kind of mid or low, this will stress your CPU even more. So you're losing frames for you to get better latency wise. So that's not something you want. And also further in this video, you'll see that we have um, wall latency already enabled in NVIDIA panel. So this here is fuel uses. Yes, the in-game build reflex is better than the NVIDIA one in the panel. But again, no point to use latency here and then in the nvidia panel so so if you were to put it on off you can see the limiter is already gone and i'm going pretty much 1.4k uh if i were to put it to the maximum you can see now it's not even going to the cap which is 1250 so it's getting worse because it's using even more cpu usage now and again the latency is maybe nearly zero for me so i do not recommend you using low latency if you're using it, don't go any higher than on, which is the default setting. If you go over on, you're pretty much just losing performance. So I'll keep it off for this case. Everything else we already done, so I'm gonna add F4. I can't use that. Then go refresh, then go Valorant. Then you have a path file, make sure to open that. Copy, Windows plus R, then paste. Then find your Valorant folder, saved, config. Then go on the first one, Windows, and then you have two files over here. So first you want to go on Game User. So now over here, what we care about is this thingy, Scability Groups. Now if you're playing Full HD or Stretch, obviously this is your resolutions, you can change them to whatever you're playing. But mainly what we care is over here. So Shading Quality, make sure that's on zero. Foliage Quality, make sure that's on zero. Effects Quality on zero. Texture Quality is already on zero. Post Processing, zero. Shadow quality, zero. Anti-aliasing, zero. View distance. So now for view distance, 
if you go anything lower than two or three, you start seeing black spots on the map if you're like too far away, which by no means affect your visibility on enemies if you're playing a normal match. It's just mainly if you're watching for something super far in the distance. So I personally recommend doing like value of two or one, or if you're really struggling for FPS, you can do zero. So I'm gonna set it to one, so you can see what I mean by that in game. Then for resolution quality, similar to Fortnite, by adjusting this, your graphic like visibility, like the textures will become worse. Um, technically, this does not give you any FP boost, like super crazy FP boost. So changing this won't really make a huge difference. But if you were to change this, I would personally recommend either 99, 95, or 85. So I'll do 85 since I'm playing full HD. If you're playing stretch, don't go anything under 95, as it will look ugly. Unless you're playing like a resolution, like for example, if I open a text document. So if you're playing something stretch like 1650 by 1080, let's say, um, 1550 by 1080, uh, 720 by 1080, or like 750 by 1080, if you play any of these resolutions, then you can go 85 as well, as it will look somewhat decent. But if you play anything lower than this, then it will look like super ugly, so don't try that. So I'll go 85, as I said, for the sake of the video. And then save, exit, then go on the other one, edit. Then over here we don't care anything on the top, just go on the bottom. And here is what we care about. So shadow enabled, make sure that's on false. NVIDIA Reflect Quality Latency, make sure that's on zero. Disable Desortion is on true. Bloom Quality on zero. Anti-strophic filtering. Now you can disable this fully, so zero. Anti-aliasing zero. Vigente false. UV Quality zero, 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 and zero. And if you use limiters, this is gonna be on true, which does not really matter that much. Personally, as I said, I don't use limiters, so I keep it on false, then save. And then I'm gonna minimize this because I'll go back after that. Then go into the folder again. Go to NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Now, over here you have NVClean install. Um, I'm gonna open my Discord real quick. Okay, then go here and then driver in your server. So once you join my Discord group, the link is gonna be in the description or in the TXT file, you can find it as well. Just join my channel, uh, then go driver in installer. Then over here, you're gonna have a file, the know that. Then watch the video on how to remove your current driver fully. Then restart your PC once you remove the driver, then go back again here and go on MV driver. Then over here, you're gonna have pictures for MV clean install on how to use it properly. Then you have three versions of the drivers over here. So 537.58 and 522.25, or you can use the latest one, which all three of this work perfectly fine. If you play more in the Fortnite and Valorant, I'll probably recommend 537.58 and 522.25. Um, currently on 537. Then from there, if you play other, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, if you play other games like uh, Warzone, Cyberpunk or stuff like that, I'll personally recommend 537 or newest one. I will avoid 522 since it's a little bit older and it's bad. Then follow the settings from the pictures. Uh, it has a red dot on like the settings you want. Over here, you just want the driver. You don't want shadow play or like other bullshit that comes with it. Then copy the settings, install, and you're good to go. Then from there, once you install the driver, just right click this. NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you're gonna have private V2. Just hold it and then drag it inside NVIDIA Profile Inspector. It's gonna come with this message, then click OK. Then go temp cleanup, app data, make sure everything is deleted. Then run this as admin, recycle bin, windows temp, delete everything, then just right click your recycle bin and make sure it's fully clean. Then also here I've added run daily or weekly. So you want to do this either whenever you start your PC. So whenever you're on this screen on desktop, just run it before playing games, or you can run it one or two times per week just to maintain like fully clean state. Then from there, you want to go on your Discord, go to the cogwheel, go to game overlay, make sure everything is disabled on game overlay. Register games, if they're throwing green over here, make sure the toggle detection and toggle overlay is disabled on both. 
then advanced hardware extraction make sure that it's disabled windows settings make sure open discord is disabled voice and video go down make sure these three options here are disabled echo cancellation crisp and game control is also disabled which are personal choice for these three options here and then the most important on the bottom the bug logging make sure that's disabled as well then if you have a browser go on your settings uh, system then graphics relation when enabled disable continue running background apps when chromium is closed disabled and then another thing you can do is go on performance and memory savers so if you are streaming or have your browser open a lot while playing games like for listening music or stuff like that and you have a lot of tabs open i'll personally recommend using memory saver so for example i have two tabs right now so google and settings so if i have this enabled and i'm just sitting on settings uh, on settings tab the other tab is not using anything so the memory is like lowered for using the second tab but if i switch to it then settings tab become not used but if you have this disabled both tabs are rendered at the same time so technically you're losing performance or like ram usage by just having these two tabs so if you enable this it's going to be focused only on your main tab and then the other one is will be like half of the performance which will help you personally or if you don't use a browser at all whenever you're playing games then you can just disable that then from there you're pretty much good to go you can go back to, uh, actually device manager uh, right click your windows icon uh, in my case i have open shell so I have to shift right click then go on device manager it's going to look like this then find where system devices then click the arrow to expand it then you're going to have high precision event timer enabled so it's going to look like this for example like fully blue so just right click it and then it's going to say disable device like this you can see disable device just high precision disable device and you're good to go in some cases it might ask for restart just do the restart and then come back this will help you with fps and sometimes your mouse will also feel way better after doing that then you can go back to valorant so just gonna wait for it to open fully I also have this game installed on my second SSD, which is a little bit lower end, so it takes a little bit time to load the game. So my bad for that. <laughs> but I don't really play Valorant that often. I don't even have it installed usually. So I didn't bother installing it on my main drive. Alright, just gonna pick a random character again. And FPS is similar for me since my system is high end, so I won't go like 1.6k or like more than that unless I do BIOS or like under vault or like um, do my timings on my RAM which I don't see a reason to do that because like yeah it will be extra performance but I mean now I'm already getting like decent FPS so no reason to do for than that and you can see what I mean by the view distance set to like lower values so right now we had the view distance set to 1 so the value 1 it will give you these black parts you can see like you can see the back textures for example this rock over here focus on it it's black but whenever i start going close to it you can see it disappears same with the textures over there they're getting rendered whenever i get close you can see. again this is only if you're like super far away so usually if you're playing a normal map like ranked or whatever games it won't really be like this unless you're looking outside the map for example this i want over there it will be like super far away so whenever you start getting close, it's rendering. And again, enemies will be still visible. Even if you have this black part, if an enemy is standing right over there, you can still see him perfectly fine. It's just the map itself. So that's why if you want to avoid this, that. just leave view distance either on two or three. But if you want the performance, you can leave it on one or zero. Even on zero, uh, well, on zero is gonna be even more black. So if I go back to the end, so if I'm over here, this building over here that's rendered will also be black, like the parts like behind. So this will be fully black, but you can still see the bridge. And as soon as you get to like right here maybe, it's gonna start rendering the building as well. 
so the difference will be like 20 30 meters more black from value one if you set it on zero so that's why i recommend you setting it to two which is like the more safe value and it's a little bit further i mean closer so you don't really get that black parts but yeah that's pretty much for the video like the nip did already that we imported already did like all your nvidia settings so you don't really need to touch anything in nvidia you can probably just disable um if you use g-sync but it should be already disabled and then the only thing that's left is set your monitor to 240 hertz after you installed um your drivers or whatever refresh rate your gpu and monitor supports so for example if you have 165 hertz just set it to 165 in the nvidia panel that's the only thing that's left to do after you did the driver install and the newest driver install but yeah that's it peace